you know, when you're incorporating the different recipes into the party, you don't have to not include sex. Because no matter what you do at all your parties, you should always have some sort of fun thing. I always do the auction at every party. No matter if it's a salsa party, or a mommy and me party, or a fridge fresh party, whatever the theme is, I always still do an auction. And this is the way you're going to pull your party together to make it fun for everybody, so they're enjoyable, so they're engaged, and it helps you to keep them engaged. So sometimes you wonder, like, if you're just talking, are they responding back? And you're like, well, are they bored? <coughs> and if you play a game, it's a way to keep them engaged and it helps you to, it helps them to talk back to you. Um, so a lot of times when you do a recipe, we'll start off with a recipe. It's like how Marcia shows you in the other room. You get started, you get people involved. And a lot of times when I have my sous chef, my helpers, I give them points for helping me. In fact, a lot of times I don't like doing the recipe. I just like to coach the guests that are at the party how to do it. That way they get their hands dirty. Not just your hands dirty. Right so when we, everyone comes in the door, as you're meeting them, you can give them the $1,000 bill then. Or you can give it to them afterwards. You can give them their cover box. I personally use thousand dollar bills. And as people are coming in, as you're welcoming, I'll say, oh my gosh, thank you for coming. You know you get paid the party. And so you'll give everybody your money. And you guys, uh, if you do have your own pen, go ahead and pull it out. Because we're actually going to do an auction today as we're going to the demonstration. And I'll show you guys how to do the auction. So if you have your own pen, go ahead and pull it out. If you don't have one, you can borrow from somebody else and you still get points. Just as long as you don't borrow my pen. Okay. So if anyone has one, if you need one, let us know. We'll get your pen. Um, just the containers right there. And they'll get it for you. So what you're going to do is take your thousand dollar bill. On the back of your thousand dollar bill is where your Italian points for the auction. Okay? So um, I do do points. You guys can do thousand dollars by your points. So we're going to do that tonight. So if you are a safety the host, this is the most that you were coming, give yourself 20 points. If you, um, um, if you were on time, you got 20 points. Honor system for all of them as you go through. If you helped with the recipe tonight, you get 20 extra points. If you brought an uninvited adult friend, you get 20 points. If you are that friend, you also get 20 points. Now, anytime you have the demonstration, if you find you're just having a whole lot of fun, and you go, you know, this is a lot of fun, and you ask me a lot of products that I want. I just want to be cold and rotten because this is my own cooler party. You get 100 points for the auction, and I'm going to give you an exclusive gift for being unforgettable. Now, maybe you're thinking, oh, Linda is just the hostess with the mostess, and you know that Olinda is going to get a bonus gift when two people decide to date their own Tupperware party, and you just want to make sure that she gets her gifts because you love her so much. So you want to date your own Tupperware party because you love her? Well, then you'll get 100 points, and you'll get an extra unforgettable gift for helping her. Now, if you also want 100 points, maybe because you sort of kind of like me, and you think that you're going to, you know, you enjoy me, and you want me to keep my job, because you know this is what I do for a living, and I have to pay my mortgage, um, then I'll give you 100 points when you want to host your own software party to help me my job. Any of those three things are acceptable, that you want to get spoiled rock, that you want to help the hostess, or that you just like me. Um, I'll give you 100 points for the auction, and you'll get a forget me not to get your unforgettable. So at the demonstration, you're going to be writing down more points. You laugh at my jokes even if they're not funny. If you're having a good time, we're giving you a temper moment. Okay? You guys can handle that? Mm -hmm. Say yes. Yes. Okay, 10 points. <laughs> okay, well, today we're going to be talking about is saving money. You guys saw some really great um, things called the Fridge Smart in the other room when Marsha or was doing the demonstration for the salsa. And you're thinking, this is really great, but I still have some veggies left over. Or I still have some cilantro or herbs. Now, normally when you have different produce at home, where do you put it? In the mushroom drawer, right? You know the drawer in your fridge that used to be a crisper but nothing stays crispin? You know, I get 10 points for laughing. I have a theory, right, that our fridge has a black hole. Everything gets sucked out only to return as UFOs, <laughs> unidentified fridge objects. We can't tell our lettuce from our asparagus, it's just soup in the bottom of the drawer. Think, how many times a week or a month do you guys grab your trash can, pull it up to your fridge, and it's the alcohol content of the mushroom drawer in the trash can? Every week, I have 10 points. If you've done it before, give yourself 10 points as well. Because when you're throwing that food away, you're throwing away what? Money, very good, 10 points. And we want to maximize your dollar. You know, the average family throws away 60 to $80 a month on produce alone. 60 to $80 a month. Think about that. If you had that extra 60 to $80 in your pocket every month, what would you spend it on? 
shoot during a trip like this. <laughs> <laughs> what else have you said about this? Clothes. Clothes. There's a lot of trip points. There's a lot of things you can use it for, right? Well, Tupperware did a lot of research because they wanted you to keep your money. And so they did research on produce preservation because they wanted to find how to get that maximum money. Through Dr. Hooper at the University of Florida, they actually found that all fruits and vegetables have different breeding capacities. Who would have known that different vegetable fruits? And when you put them in the right environment, they will last three to four times longer. That means your celery will last a month. It will never do the hula ever again. Growing lettuce will last a month. Do y'all know why you eat the darker lettuces of the lighter ones? More nutrients. More nutrients. Very good. Ten points. So the Journal of Food Science says that dark leafy greens can actually relieve the discomfort that a computer screen causes to your eyes. So by having the higher nutrients of those dark greens, you're actually saving so your eyes. Your body for after and after and body I, that's a good ten points. There's so many great benefits. So we want to make sure we maximize our nutrients as we're maximizing our dollars. So through their research, they developed an atmospheric controlled environment, which is called our fridge smart. It has little eyes on the front that depict the different breathers. Because of the three different breathers, there are heavy breathers, medium breathers, and light breathers. The different eyes regulate the different airflow inside the environment. Now as it passes around, you guys can look at the different features that this container has. You'll notice on the bottom, there are the grooves. This lifts the produce up out of its own moisture. That way, the airflow can truly circulate. Because if not, it's putting its own juices and it's causing it to spoil. It's going to have a hard, durable, sturdy stock. Now, this is good because you can stack the containers on top of each other, which is great for stackability and durability. But it's also good because it prevents bruising. What happens to a lettuce leaf when it gets bent? It tears it gets brown really quickly, doesn't it? Do you know why consumer reports say those green bags don't work? Because it crushes your food, it causes bruising. Bruising is one of the top contributors to spoilage in all of your food. That's why you should always take them out of the plastic bag, don't put them in Ziploc bags wrapped in paper towels. It might prolong it a day or more. Um, take it out of them, put it in a durable container. That way it's going to keep the integrity of your food while it's letting the correct, correct airflow to move around. The textured lid keeps it from sliding, and the rounded corners if it was a UFO in your fridge, you can put it in the dishwasher and it'll clean it out. If it was square, it wouldn't do that. It would be caught to the side. So it's really great. It's a whole unique environment that works together. You're going to find baby carrots. They're lasting a month. Great. It's lasting a month. You can bag a salad one to two weeks. You guys see the benefit that this is going to have for you in your home? You see the benefit for the different sizes of things that you need. Right. And on every uh, one of the containers, there is a smart guy on the side that shows you what fruit and vegetable is what breeder. So it shows you which ones are light breeders, medium and heavy. It even shows you which ones shouldn't go in the fridge. Did you know that eggplant, avocado, <laughs> bananas, and peaches should not be in the fridge? <coughs> Just in the room temperature. And tomatoes, um, which is really good to know. Now, there is a chart that comes inside of it that explains what the pictures are if you're unsure. And does have it in multiple languages. That way, if you have some friends that come in from out of town, they can also know what's what. Yeah. Different facts. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, I'll tell you what the fridge smart, you know, you can buy them individually, but most people find that when you buy the set, you're going to one or two of the whole sets in your home. I actually um, am a vegetarian, been one my whole life, and I get organic delivered to my home. You guys know with organics, you spend twice as much and they go bad in half the time because they don't have any preservatives. If you store them in the fridge smart, they will last just as long. These will truly pay for themselves. Um, so you can have them. This is my number one item I post to get for half off or for free. This whole collection, you can get all four pieces today three different ways. The first way is to host a party because when you host a party, you can get four free, free. 10 points, or half price. The second way is to join my winning team because then you'll never pay full price. You'll get it for 25 to 35% off. And the third way is you can get it today. So you can get the whole set for only 16 hours. Well, let's go back <coughs> and talk about why you might want to do the second one. Um, and this is, oh, so first of all, pull out your purses and we'll do the pictures. And this is when I would go in to doing a game with them to explain to you different parts. Okay. Thank you.